Today I'm gonna to teach you how to keep your whole house consistently clean in just 15 minutes a day using zone cleaning method from the Fly Lady system. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. As you may know, I am Sarah McFall of MyMerryMessyLife.com. I'm a blogger, an author, a podcaster, a YouTuber, blah, 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 a mom of four, and also author of the book, Detox Your Home, which you can find on Amazon, and it includes more than 80 DIY recipes to help you go non-toxic and natural in your cleaning, laundry, bath, body, and beauty products, and even has a whole section on how to eat healthy and real food. So today I'm really excited to share with you the zone cleaning system from the Fly Lady Method. If you don't already know what the Fly Lady Method is, I'll link up here to the first video, but it is a system created by Marla Silly in her book, Sync Reflections. She has a blog and lots of other helpful resources. And it's a brilliant system, it's simple, it's easy, and it helps you to keep your whole house consistently cleaned, decluttered, and organized, and also helps you to take care of yourself and not leave yourself out of the equation. Don't we all need that, mamas? I know I need that. So I've been using her method for the past month and a half or two months, and I have already found it to greatly reduce my stress, keep my house a whole lot cleaner, help me to give me that push to declutter things I really don't need, and it's just made my life a lot easier, so I highly recommend her system. So today I'm gonna to teach you about the zone cleaning system. It's so smart, I'm like, why didn't I think of this? But that's what I love, when smart people come up with creative ideas and share them with all of us, we all benefit, like we are with the Fly Lady system. So zone cleaning is the idea of taking your whole house and breaking it down into five zones. And you clean each of those zones, you take four to five days a week, and you focus on one zone. So I love this because it keeps you from having to think, okay, I've got two hours this Saturday, I'm gonna clean the entire house. And what happens? You don't clean the entire house. For most of us, that's not even possible to clean the entire house in a really good detailed way in two hours or three hours. You get burnt out, you get exhausted, and you don't want to do it again for another month, so then your house gets real dirty again, and then you've got to spend another two or three hours like heavily cleaning again a month later, and you then you don't want to do it again for another two months, and then you know the holidays come and you have guests coming over and you're like, oh crap, now my house is so messy, I've got to spend three hours cleaning it again. I don't know about you, but that's how I've operated for the past, I don't know, 14 years I've been married, 15 years I've been married. What a stressful system. And it doesn't keep your house consistently clean. Another great tip that Marla Silly shares in her book is when you're doing the zone cleaning, so you're spending four to five days just on one zone. What you're gonna do is you're gonna use your phone or buy a kitchen timer, and you're gonna set a timer for 15 minutes. And you're gonna go in that zone and clean the things on your checklist for 15 minutes. Now that may sound like, there's no way in heck I can get all of the cleaning done I need to get done in 15 minutes. You're gonna be shocked by how much cleaning can be done in 15 minutes. I know one time I set my timer and recorded how I could change the sheets on my bed, remove the towels from my bathroom and put them in the laundry room, clean two toilets and a bathroom countertop all in 15 minutes. So you can get a lot done in 15 minutes. The thing is when we're cleaning, we often don't ever time ourselves. All we think about is how annoying it is or how much work it is. And when you put a timer to it, what I have found is that it really changes my mentality about the cleaning. It's like, wow, this is so cool. It really only takes me five minutes to mop the whole kitchen. That's no big deal. I can spend five minutes mopping a kitchen. That is not hard work. That's not too much. And when you've got little ones and even babies and toddlers, it helps even more then because you're like, okay, the baby's down for a nap. I've got five minutes and then I'm gonna sit and relax. All I'm gonna do is mop the kitchen. It just really helps with the attitude and the mentality when you know I'm doing this for 15 minutes and then I'm stopping. And if you're already in a place where it's really hard for you to clean and you're just feeling really resistant to it, after your 15 minutes, plan a little bit of R&R &R time for yourself. Give yourself a little pamper time after you do your cleaning. And that could be as simple as sit down in a chair with your favorite cup of tea or coffee or favorite beverage, scroll Facebook and Instagram if you want to, keep watching more of my videos on YouTube or somebody else, there's lots of great YouTubers out there. Read a magazine, read a chapter of a book. 
I don't know, do something relaxing for the next 15 minutes. And if you wanna break it up that way, it can make it so much more fun for us, right? So much more fun for you. So another tip, and I got this from Diana Denmark, is she suggests buying an actual physical timer so that when you go into your phone to set a timer, you don't get lost scrolling Facebook and Instagram and YouTube and Pinterest and everywhere else, and then you don't get your cleaning done. So what I do, I didn't wanna buy an extra timer, so I use my cell phone, but I just say, Hey Siri, set a timer for 15 minutes. It stays on the lock screen, but the timer is still going right there. So for me, setting a timer that way works perfectly. And then I use my phone to play some music so that I can listen to my favorite tunes while I clean and it makes it so much more pleasant. So you'd be surprised by how much detailed cleaning you can get done in those four to five days, just 15 minutes a day. The first step in doing your zone cleaning is I would suggest go ahead and get yourself a home management binder. This is a one inch three ring binder that I already had in my house. I didn't even have to buy it. One thing I did buy were these plastic dividers and I bought a pencil pouch and dry erase markers from Amazon. I can link to those things below and I'll also link to the video where I talk about the home management binder. I'll have a whole video just on this. Having a home management binder has really helped me to organize my life. It's made my life a lot easier. I wrote out all of the things in my different zones that I need to clean. And I do suggest making your own list. You can start with my list and then take out things that aren't in your house, add things that you need to do, customize it for your house. We all have different houses. Some of us have condos, some have apartments, some have townhomes. Some of you live with other people. You know, we all have such different living situations that you really need to customize this for yourself. I broke down my zones the same way that the fly lady does, but I have a few extra rooms in my house than what she has in her system. So for zone one, I have porches, entryway, office, playroom, and yard. Now she does have in her daily focus, a day to focus on the yard, which for us is Saturdays when my husband's home. That's a day while he's out cutting the grass, I can go pull up weeds from the garden, from my plants and things like that. The kids are running around outside. They love being outside with me and my husband while we're out there. So Saturdays are when I focus on the yard mostly. I don't so much do it in the zone anymore. So I probably need to remove that from my list. And that's the thing, these are breathing, living lists. If you type it out in a you know, Word document on your computer, you can always be changing it. And then you just place it back into your home management binder. And if you use a sheet protector, you can cross off things with a dry erase marker. And then the next month you wipe it down and go back. Zone two for me is the kitchen, pantry, and laundry room. And that's because my kitchen, pantry, and laundry room are all right here together. So it makes sense for me to clean that zone at one time. Because when I'm mopping the kitchen, it's easy for me to go mop the laundry room, that kind of thing. Zone three are all the bathrooms, not the master bath, not our bathroom, but all the other bathrooms in the house. We have three of them and what I need to clean in the bathrooms. Zone four is the master bedroom and bathroom, master closet as well. Everything in my master bedroom suite. And zone five are the living rooms and the kids' bedrooms. So I'm going to break down each of the zones into different videos so that this video doesn't go on too long. So for this video, I'll leave you with this. Another tip for the zones is that I typed out, you know, more than maybe 30 items to clean in each area. Each month, I'm not thinking I've got to get to every single item on the list. For instance, in the spring and summer, I don't really have any spider webs and spider issues. Those mostly come in the fall and winter. So I don't have to be, you know, marking that thing off every single month. Other things like some, you know, cleaning baseboards, sometimes those don't need to be done every single month and things like that. So I sort of scan the room and I see, okay, what actually really needs to be done. I do those things first in the zone cleaning instead of, you know, like just going down the list one thing at a time, I see what needs to be done. Right, I make this system work for me and not the other way around. You wanna make the system work for you. So I see what needs to be done. I cross it off the list as I do it. And if I still have 15 things that I never touched, I don't worry about it. 
I know that next month I'll get back to those things. So what I do is I leave those things crossed off. And when I get to that zone the next month, I see, okay, well, last month I already cleaned the spider webs. Last month I already dusted. Last month I cleaned the baseboards. Last month I scrubbed down the floor. So this month I'll start with a detailed vacuuming. Another thing you're gonna wanna see is the weekly home blessing hour or the weekly home power hour, which I will link up there and down in the description box below. It is a way for you to keep your high traffic areas, which are the areas that guests will see when they come over as well. With your weekly home blessing hour, you'll be cleaning that every week. So that way your high traffic area is always looking nice and presentable, and you can have people over and not be sweating. You know, you can always close doors to bedrooms that haven't been cleaned in a while or some basement room or whatever. You can keep those things closed, don't let guests go back there and you don't have to worry about it. Use the weekly home blessing hour or power cleaning hour to keep your high traffic areas of your home clean. And when you're doing that weekly home blessing hour, you're not doing detailed cleaning. It's just a quick vacuum or a quick mop or a quick dusting, whatever it is you've got on your list and uh, not worrying about going into too much detail. The zone cleaning is where you go into more detailed cleaning and you know, you're vacuuming underneath the beds or you're moving furniture to vacuum underneath furniture or you're moving furniture to mop and things like that. So more detailed, focused cleaning. Stick around and for the next five videos, I'm gonna be teaching you the different zones and tell you about each item in the different zones. So thanks so much for watching guys. I hope this video was helpful for you. Would you please give it a big thumbs up? Also drop me a comment below. Have you ever used the file lady system? Do you know of this system? Give me your best tips. If you are using it, we would all love to hear from you. Also make sure if you're not already subscribed to subscribe, because that helps me to be able to create more free content for you. All right. Thank you so much guys. Y'all have a great day. Bye.